welcome back. In this session, we will send the REGIST request to the API and create uh, the user. Something like this. Test, test name, test at planner.com. Put a password. Head on the register button, submit the form. OK, and we get this message. User has been created successfully. Also, you can test the login function inside the postman to make sure that the user is already created. OK. OK, to implement that, uh, visit the Swagger page of the API to check the documentation. What you want to do is to send a POST request to the register endpoint. Here we have an endpoint. Inside the auth controller, there is an action called register. It's a POST action. Uh, in the request, we send an object, a JSON object of type register request. We have created it in a previous session. And in the response, we have two responses. A 200, which indicates a success, like the user has been created successfully, or a bad request, there is something wrong. Uh, the object we receive from the API is a user manager response. We have created it also in the creating model of for register session. So that's uh, the main goal. So I will move now to the application to get started. Here inside the register component pages auth. This is uh, the register component. Here is the object that I want to send to the API. And I want to receive an object of type user manager response that contains a message. Uh, message is success and errors if uh, the requests fail. For example, uh, this user is already existing or something like this. Yeah. So now let's get started first. I will go to the shared project here. I will create a new folder and call it services. Here I will put three services, plan service, uh, authentication service, and uh, <coughs> a to-do item service. Each service uh, handle the request to the API and get the responses back. Then simply I can put those services inside the dependency injection container in the Blazor app. After that, at the end, I can inject uh, those services in each component I want. Uh, for example, in the register component, I will inject the uh, authentication service and simply make calls to make uh, to create user, register user, and in the login, another call, another uh, function that's responsible for login. So before I create the function, I will go to the dependencies, manage NuGet package, and I will install a library, aksoftware.webapi. This library I have created three years ago. I've used it in my old projects. It simplifies the code that's responsible to send actions, uh, to send requests to the API and get the response simply in one code, in one line of code, rather than writing every time HTTP client set the headers and <coughs> send the request, then receive it, serialize, deserialize the process. Uh, this library simplifies everything for you just in one uh, one line of code, a lot of things happens. So the main goal of it is just to simplify the process. It doesn't do any magic. <laughs> so in the services, the first service we have is called authentication service. OK. Now I will mark the class as public. And here I will import Okay, software dot web API dot client this way. Here I will create a private read only string base URL, which is the base URL of the API. I can pass it in the constructor <coughs> and I will create an object of type service client which is existing in aksoftware.webapi, call it client equals to new client. Now in the constructor, I will just receive URL, now, paste URL equals to the URL. I will create the function 
for register public, it's going to be an asynchronous function task and it returns user manager response response like this import the models call it register user async it receives the parameter of type uh, register request Not register request like this now to send that to the api we can use the client object var result equals await it's an awaitable function dot post async post async is directly makes an post request to a specific url and it's a generic method here you have to specify the type that you want, you will receive as you know we will receive an uh, object of type user manager response so here set user manager response now this function takes two parameters the first one is the method url now the method url is the base url of the website or the application slash api slash auth slash register and the second parameter the object you want to send in the body of the request which is uh, the request object like this now in the result it returns an object called http request result of type user manager response let's check what's inside here we have an http response the pure response that we received from the request is succeeded to indicate if the request was the, the request or the function has been succeeded or no the result which is the object we receive in the body of the of the response it's an object of type user manager response and but I think we, should, we have the status code of the request now we will return the result dot result this way or I will rename this to response yeah this is better so in this way simply when we call the register user async uh, pass a register request object for it it simply called the API and returns a user manager response object back to us now the service is ready close and the next step is to register the service in the dependency, con uh, dependency injection container of our client side project to do this I would go to program here then inside the main method which is the entry point of the application here you have a builder which is an object of type WebAssembly host builder there is a uh, property inside called uh, services you can use it to inject services so but before I do this I will create a private const string URL here I will set the URL or the base URL of the API like this paste it here remove that yes now here we have the URL the next step is to register the services I will do this by builder dot services dot add scoop add scoop means it will create an object uh, an instance of that uh, from that class that I will register in the container every time I want to access it I will specify the type which is authentication service okay here you remember that authentication service take an URL in the uh, constructor so I have to construct this object here inside uh, this function it takes an lambda expression uh, with uh, an I service provider uh, interface this is an instance of I service provider and this lambda expression returns an instance of this object the dependency injection container going to initialize it for us every time we want to use this object so I would say return new authentication service and pass that URL for it like this okay in this way we have the authentication service uh, registered in the dependency injection container now it's ready for use inside the components we can close the program.cs now move to our component here 
the first thing I will do is to inject application service like this. I will give it a name auth service. And also I want to inject another service called navigation manager, which is already registered by uh, the Blazor application. This one is responsible for uh, the navigation process or routing. I can navigate to another components using this. I will call it navigation manager. Now for this one, I should import the library. I can import uh, put the full name of the class here, like planner app .chair .services. But I prefer to add that library in the imports file. Do not import that in every uh, in every component. So planner app dot chair dot services this way. Save that. Okay. Now everything is fine and ready. Okay. The last step is. We should implement the function when we click the register button. It's going to make uh, or to call the register user async function inside the authentication service. So to do this, first I will convert this from a normal function to an asynchronous method this way. Okay. After that, as you know, it's this function is going to take time, maybe seconds, milliseconds, whatever. And this time, the user can able to click the register button or login button multiple times, and this is going to lead us to some mess. To avoid this, I will create an indicator, a simple variable called is busy. By default, the value is false. Now, when the function started, if busy was going to be true and Pulse again after the function is done. In the register button and the login button, I will disable this button when the is busy is true. So the user cannot click this while uh, Blazor is sending the request to the API. So in HTML, we have a property called disabled. I will set its value to is busy. I will repeat that also for the login button. Okay, like this. Now here, we will send the result, send the request, and say well, result equals await authentication service or all service dot register user async. It takes uh, argument of type register request, which is this one, this way. Now in the result, we have an object of type user manager response simply. We can check result dot is success and else. Now in this way we are done. We have got the response. Here we can uh, do something when the user has been created successfully, and here we can do another thing when uh, the request failed. What we will do actually is simply just showing an alert or a message here somewhere, a green message or green alert uh, showing inside that the user has been created successfully or um, there is something wrong and show the error inside that alert. So before I do this, I should create a reusable component, like a shared component, which is, an, I will call it alert message because we want to use this message multiple times. So for now, in the next video, we are going to create that component but for now, I will just create a simple message variable like this, string.empty. And here, I will set message equals to the result dot message. And also here, Now both do the same thing, but after we create the component, the alert message, the behavior is going to be changed for when the request succeeded or failed. For now, I will just put this simple message. Now to show this message, I will make something here. 
here at the top of that rating card we'll add if string dot is null or white space the message if it's not null then show a simple dev class alert alert info show the message inside like this if the message is null or it's an empty string shows nothing otherwise it's going to show this alert in the next video we will learn how we can create this as an uh, reusable component take parameters because we will use this too much in the application okay now we can test let's run the project and see the result okay let's navigate to the register component very nice now if i click on register okay i'll be asked for the validation i will insert ahmad muzaffer email going to be test at planner app dot com password test dot one two three test dot one two three now let's click register okay as you see now it's loading the register button has been disabled uh-huh we got the response user created successfully the user has been created on my uh, my account is now ready i can log in which is the next function we should do but for now it's working successfully i will send the request again let's click register okay user did not create uh, of course we should uh, show the message but this is what we will do in the next video we will create an alert message that show the exact error but for now it works perfectly i will go for postman and try to make a login request to make sure that the account has been created okay here i will call the login it's a post request now in the body we can go back to the API and to check what logins takes. Okay, it simply takes a value to uh, object with two properties, email and password. So I can remove all of this. And here's a test at plannerapp.com. And the password is test.123. Remove this comma from here and click send okay so 200 okay the status code of the request here is my access token is success is true let me put a wrong password okay invalid password very nice so the user has been created everything is working fine now we still have to do two things in this page first one is to show a correct message here with a nice alert and to implement the login uh, button to move to the login component that we haven't created yet. So, hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to send requests, how we can use uh, the dependency injection in Blazor, WebAssembly, and binding here, how we have bind uh, that is busy to the disabled property of the buttons and handling this way. In addition to all of that, how to create forms uh, on valid submit, register user, call the function, validate the, the model, showing messages, something like this. Now, we will use this after we, when we start creating the uh, login component, then we will implement the function of navigating to the login component when you click on the login button. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video to hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you so much.